Have a need for a ton of power in your home theater? Maybe you have difficult to drive speakers that are just hungry for strong amplifier energy that you can't quite get out of a receiver. You want all that power, but you still want it to be clean, clear, detailed, and resolving for your system. Well, Rotel has a solution for you, and they strongly believe that you can have your cake and eat it too. And they deliver a perfect example of what a solid mid-fi product should be like. This is the RB1590. It is a hawking monster of a power amplifier good for 350 watts into 8 ohms. Classic Class AB style. Now, you'll notice that it's actually sitting under another very cool Rotel product. This is the Rotel RAP1580 amplified processor. But for those of you who have some seriously difficult loads to drive or you just want that extra headroom for extra loudness in big rooms, this is a wonderful combo. We will have a video featuring just this guy as well. But for now and today, we're going to talk about making big power. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me give you the question of the day. Do you currently use separates in your home theater? And if so, what are you using? Rotel is a company that has been family owned now for three generations, or I should say into the third generation. And they've always been committed to delivering one of the best products that you can find in audio for their respective price points. As a company, they always wanna look at a specific product see what they're setting out to do with it and make sure that they put the bulk of their investments into the most important, most functional pieces of that product. Inside of this unit are two massive toroidal transformers. They use twin units for just gobs and gobs of power transformer energy. Downstream from those massive transformer units, you have eight BHC British made capacitors. Basically what you need to know about that is that they're huge, they're quality, they do that job of explosions and crescendos really well. And on top of that, the internal wiring and circuit boards connecting all these parts together are second to none, again, especially in this mid-fi price category. The wiring looks great, the boards are solid, everything is integrated really well. And if you pop the lid off the top of this guy, you can see that the placement of all the components inside just looks clean. It's the kind of product that even if you don't have any electrical know-how, you can just look at it and go, that's clean, that looks good, that looks quality. And as far as actually integrating this unit, it's really simple. Obviously you plug it into your wall, but you have balanced ends and unbalanced ends, AKA XLR, microphone cable, you know how much I love my XLR cables, are just good old fashioned RCA. You easily select the difference with a switch so you don't have to worry about like shorting one connector if you're using the other, which can always be a pain. And you've got a really easy system for controlling this unit. Simply turn it on from the power switch in the front or connect a trigger in on the rear from whatever preamp you're using. And again, flip a switch and it will behave that way. Take a look at the back panel here. Notice those speaker terminals. They're beefy, they're quality, they feel great. They take bare wire banana or spades all equally well. And I really like how they work with bananas. Like they just feel solid. But notice that you have two sets on each side. Now, this is just a stereo amp, but by having those two sets of terminals, you can actually make two separate runs to each speaker if you have a bi-wire capable speaker. Why would you do this? Eh, more wire is more gauge, which means less resistance. And while it's not generally a big deal, it is a feature I appreciate because it allows you to fill all the ports on your speaker and all the ports on your amp with quality cable. And if you've learned anything here on our Audio U, you know that quality cable is a good thing. And the more of it, well, the better. This is a good looking product and it's well finished, especially in this front face plate. This is what you're gonna be seeing most of the time anyway, and I like its clean aesthetic. Again, for the respective price points, they tend to stand above the competition in overall material quality. It's just a beast. I mean, what else can I really say about it? The power is there for demanding moments, whether it's a something like an explosion or just a really big loud event in a movie or a crescendo in music. And I know I keep going back to that term, but really it's the best way I can describe it. Just anytime there is this explosive energy that is demanded, this product is ready to deliver. There's not a ton of coloration from it. In fact, I'd even say that it leans maybe for a class A B amp, actually slightly toward the side of treble or brightness, but just barely. It's not harsh, it's not cold, it's not sterile. It's just a little bit unique for an AB, whereas something like a Macintosh amp, for example, is maybe leaning a little bit toward the warmer side of the equation. This is actually hanging out in slightly more neutral territory. 
And I think that kind of belies its use, maybe more so as a theater piece a little bit, but it is no slouch for music and still a very, very good time. The RB1590, it's like a pair of strong hands that carries your audio, be it whatever the sound effects from movies are or the music you listen to, with a pair of strong hands that don't miss when they throw. And you can have this awesome product for just under $3,700, making it one of the most solidly well-positioned offerings, I think, in all of MidFi for everything that it delivers, both on the spec sheet and the real-world experience. Oh, and you want to know some good news? We're selling these on Sky. Click the link down below. You can check out securely, fast and free shipment straight to your door. Don't forget, you'll find us in Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg, Maryland. We also have a beautiful kitchen design center in Hunt Valley. All right, my friends, that wraps up our video on the 1590. This is a really cool amp, and it's the first just big power amp I've got to play with in some time, so that was a lot of fun. If you had a good time, please click the like button. That's a big help to us, and I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget the question of the day in the comments, as well as what you'd like to see us review in the future. And of course, be seeing you.